Hey there everyone, this is Danielle, back with some more Ace Attorney Trilogy. Uh, we're doing part 2-2, two -two, Trial of Reunion and Turnabout, so let's go. Yes. June 21st, 11.37am, District Court, Defendant Lobby Number 3. Phew, that was a close one. I know you were giving it your all to defend me. But I could feel the death penalty hanging in the air. I felt like I was pretty close to dying myself. But you were wonderful out there. You listened carefully, made series, and tricked everyone into believing you. Thanks. Wait, tricked? That must be the lawyer's secret technique, right? By the way, is the next witness who I think it is? Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's Lotta Hart. Oh, I guess there's no escaping her, huh? Remember Nick, you promised you'd save me. If you lose, me and my sister's ghost will come after you and haunt you. Your sister? <gasps> um, are you talking about Mystic Mia? Yeah, do you remember her, Pearly? My sister was a super good lawyer. She was also Nick's teacher. Oh. I didn't know that. June 21st, 11.43am, District Court, courtroom number 2. Court will now reconvene. Now, the first order of... Ow! I don't want to hear it, old man. After I call my witness, sit there quietly and watch like a good little boy. Y yes sir. Bring in the photographer who witnessed the channeling. I'm still working on my Von Karma voice. <laughs> Witness, your name and occupation, if you please. Hey, Phoenix, how you doing? I'm just fine. Sorry about this. Didn't exactly have a choice, you know? Yowza. Name and occupation. I declare, what in tarnation? Hey Judge, this here is violence against my fair self. That's fine. That's fine? That ain't fine, that's a whip! <laughs> nah! There's no need for foolish outcries from foolishly foolish fools. Just hurry up and testify about what happened on the day of the murder. I haven't even gotten to say my name and job yet. My name's Lotta Hart, paranormal photographer, and I'm here to testify. Now, now, let's hope we won't be happy family, okay? Witnesses account. Only the doc and the defendant went into the channeling chamber. We were waiting outside the door, and then bang, we hear this gunshot. Mr. Lawyer there broke the door down, and we rushed into the room. Inside was the dead victim and the defendant waving a pistol around. I swear, other than those two, there was no one else in the room. And did you take a picture of the scene right after the murder took place? Wrecking chorus. Eh? Excuse me? Wrecking chorus. It's short for, you reckon? Of course I did. Ah! Does it look like I care? Just hurry up and show your picture to the court. The moment of truth. What will be in that picture? Um, let's see here. This here's the picture. Hmm. It would certainly seem that only the defendant and the victim were in that room. Lotta's photo added to the court record. Are you ready, Mr. Phoenix Wright? I will clear all doubt about Maya through this cross-examination. Just watch me. This is a count. Okay, so there's a couple of things we want to press on here. Um, we want to be sure that there was nobody else in the room. Are you absolutely certain of that? Sure am. But that old witch chased us out of the room, so... Old witch? Does she mean Morgan Fay? But there was no one else in there, and you know it. 
The trembling chamber was very dark, almost pitch black. Was there really no one else in there? What about... What about behind the folding screen? Did you check back there? Rat given. Huh? What in the... Rat given, you know. You reckon? That's a given. I took me a good look around the room once. There ain't no way anyone was hanging out behind that folding screen. Hmm. If I may have a word with you, Miss Hart. What? You got a problem? Rat given. I mean, I'm having a little difficulty in understanding you. If you would stop saying such things as reckon given and ah, now then, Mr. Phoenix Wright, do you see a problem with the testimony, or don't you? Ugh, her story adds up. What's worse, I was there at the scene of the crime with her, and her story is exactly how I would have told it too. Was it really only those two that went in? What are you blathering about? You, you were, the, you were there too, were you not? Look. Why didn't you answer that yourself? Was it really just the two of them? Yes, Doctor Gray and Maya were the only one two that went into the room. But hold on, we can't have the defense testifying against its own client. Anyway, folks, only the two of them went to the channeling chamber. You hear? But you knew that from the very beginning, didn't you? Witness, continue. Was it really a gunshot? Are you insane? You must have heard it as well. Look. Why don't you testify for the court, Mr. Phoenix Fright? Was it really a gunshot? Yes, I think it was something that sounded like a gunshot. And why are we here listening to the defense testify? And the world becomes just a little crueler. I heard a gunshot a long time ago, so I know, and I tell you, that was a gunshot I heard. Now, this, this is where the story heats up. So, let me get this straight. This Mr. Lawyer there broke the door down? Honestly, Mr. Phoenix Wright, why don't you tell us what happened then? Um, yes, Ms. Wankama, I broke the door down. Sorry. Why does this feel like the Inquisition? No need for apologize, and that was great! You're a real man! Oh, really? That's something I would have liked to see. The judge is smiling rather openly. I'll take that as a good sign. And? What did you see once you broke in? Are you sure it was the defendant, Maya Faye? Sure, I'm sure. Lotta seems awful confident in her testimony. Lotta, please, think back to that day one more time. What you getting at? Remember what you said when we broke into the room? This room doesn't look nearly as dark as they were saying it was. I was... murdered. Click. Lotta, at a time like this? Times like this are perfect for snapping up shots. But anyway... What's going on here? This gal, is she... Maya? When you saw the murderer at that time, you couldn't even tell if it was Maya Faye or not, am I correct? Uh, um, well, you see... Order, Miss Hart, you are here to present accurate testimony. Yeah, uh, s sorry. Good, this shifts things back to my side. For a defense lawyer, your defense is terribly lacking, Mr. Phoenix Wright. Fitness. Think back to when those two entered the channeling chamber. When they entered? One of those people that entered the channeling chamber was Maya Faye, correct? Yeah, that's right. Yeah, it was Maya that went in. Hmm. Looks like we've come to a collective conclusion. The person in this picture is most certainly Maya Faye. Exactly. Rats. I'm trapped like one. Again. Ugh, just as I thought, there is nothing wrong with her testimony. I was with her, so I know she's telling the truth. Enough. It seems that there are no issues with Ms. Hart's testimony. At the time of the crime, only two people were in the channeling chamber. 
The victim, Dr. Turner Gray, and the defendant, Maya Fay. Hmm. The face of the defendant cannot be verified in this picture. However, if we think about the circumstances it would have to be the defendant, what am I going to do if I just let this go? What is it, Mr. Wright? You look as if you have something to say. If I make one wrong move, I'm going to have the judge against me. Is there anything I can present that would prove it's not Maya in that photo? Uh... At this point, no. We need more evidence. Well, Mr. Wright? Nothing, Your Honor. That's very smart of you, Mr. Phoenix Wright. You really should give up trying to prove this is not my affair. I didn't say anything about giving up. I just don't have the right piece of evidence to prove my argument. That's enough. Is this it? Is this all I could do? I think it is quite obvious to this court that a verdict of not guilty is not possible. I told you. Totally, 100% impossible. Ms. Von Karma, do you have any further questions for this witness? Having established the defendant's guilt, further questioning won't be needed. What about the defense? No further questions, I presume? I... I couldn't protect Maya. The defense... the defense... Phoenix. Phoenix, you can't make that kind of face. A lawyer is someone who smiles, no matter how bad it gets. M Mia! I guess I made it just in time, wouldn't you say? You, you but... Pearls! Her clothes are a bit small. They're, she's a child, you're, you're an adult. How, how is this working? <laughs> anyway, what are you waiting for, Phoenix? Let's go! But how? She's already taken away every advantage. The advantage is still in your hand. Think carefully one more time about what you saw in the channeling chamber. Do you remember what you told me yesterday? D Dr. Gray! Click. I was... murdered. W what? Click. Murder! At a time like this? Times like this are perfect for snapping up shafts. You see, there is one final piece to this puzzle. Mia? Question Lotta one more time, Phoenix. I don't know if she's doing it unconsciously or on purpose, but she's not testifying truthfully. Now then, this court would like to end the cross-examination period. Please wait, Your Honor. The defense would like to request that the witness testify one more time. Overruled. I'm afraid you're too late, Mr. Wright. The cross-examination has already ended. Furthermore, any unrelated question- ah, It's fine. I'll allow, I'll allow another testimony. Avon Karma's case is perfect. Absolutely flawless. And what better time for you to see this? What better time than this for you to seize at? But, I mean, I have some place I must go after this. Mm. Alright, I'll allow it. Miss Hart, hurry and give us another testimony. Well, heck, what am I supposed to talk about? Please tell us once more what happened when you burst into the channeling chamber. Okay, you got it. See, you got through with the judge somehow, right? Well, actually, it was one Karma's whip that got through to him. Witness's account, part two. When we broke into that room, all I could focus on was Maya. I was uh, kind of scared of the dead body, so I didn't get a good look at it. I'm really bad when it comes to blood and ghosts and stuff. But I still managed to point my camera at Maya and take a shot. Nothing sounds different from before. Some parts of her testimony were very vague. I should press her on those sections. Struggle all you like as you taste the bitterness of your defeat. Vel, amuse me with your useless questions. Mr. Phoenix Fright, I'm rating. Von Karma's voice is hard. I'm, I'm still not getting it right. I, I, I hope it sounds okay. <laughs> okay, so she said she took a shot, but that's not quite right because she actually took two photographs. 
two, right? Two what? Two shots. You took two shots. But only one has been submitted as evidence. Miss Hart, where is the other picture you've been withholding? No, 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 you've got it all wrong. It's not me. Uh, I didn't mean anything bad. I know it can be a little mean, but I ain't evil. Well, at least she knows herself. Then why have you not shown this other picture to the court yet? Well, ain't it obvious that prosecutor woman told me to shove my trap about it? What? V Von Karma. Miss Von Karma, you're hiding critical evidence. Unfavorable, Von Karma. Suppressing evidence like this, you're as bad as your father. Your Honor, the defense asked the prosecutor Von Karma be held in contempt of court. Hmm, well, yes. Me? In contempt of court? You can't be serious. But, but you hid evidence from the court, on purpose. That's, that's... That's not fair. Phoenix, are you a lawyer or a school child? Ugh, so angry I lost my composure. Ms. Von Karma, would you care to explain yourself to this court? I thought this picture was not important, and thus felt the need to submit it. That's all. How could you think? Pictures were more or less the same, so why bother with the second? I mean, it's just so much more trouble than it's worth for me to submit this as evidence. M more trouble than it's worth? That it's worth? <laughs> how how can you say that? You didn't say that, you said that it's worth. <laughs> if you want to see it that badly, I'll submit it. Lotus Photo 2 added to the court record. It's quite an important photo for various reasons. What is... what is this picture? It's obviously the second picture the Vidness took the de that day at the scene of the crime. Well, it's a little off-center, but that's what you get with a nervous amateur. Um, I think the important point here is the person in this picture. This is most definitely not my F.A. What is the meaning of this? This might be the break I was looking for. Now, should I or should I not insist that the person in this picture is not Maya? It's no good. We've been through this so many times. This is not like you, Mr. Wright. Why are you not objecting? The person in this photo is clearly not the defendant, and yet... <laughs> there is no way he can raise an objection and hope to live. Explain yourself. Your Honor, I would like you for you to take a look at this picture. This was taken yesterday at the detention centre visitors' room. This is Mr. Phoenix Wright and the defendant, Maya Fay, during his visit. Maya Fay? But isn't this a totally different person? She looks this way because she is obviously in the middle of channeling a spirit. It's unbelievable that she can. Yet, it is the truth. When Maya Fey is in that state, she physically changes into the person she's calling. Ms. Von Karma, a word if I may. M Mia? Taking pictures of someone during a private visit is illegal. Surely you must know that that picture can't be submitted as evidence. Obviously, I know this picture is illegal. But I never intended to submit it as evidence in the first place. What is she... From the moment I showed this picture to the court, this case became all mine. After all, this image has now been forever burned into the judge's mind. I... I don't even have a single witty line. It looks like we've been had. Okay, that that's... you can't do that. You cannot show illegal evidence and just say I wasn't submitting this, I was just showing it to everyone. <laughs> what the hell? I don't claim to understand this, and I still cannot believe it. Are you saying that this person, this person is the defendant, Maya Fey? I give up here, the trial will end. But if I slip up and say something wrong, it will cost me. 
Is there any way I can prove that the person in this picture is not Maya? Actually, yes, there is. Your Honor. Oh, the fire has returned to your eyes, I see. This picture... Within this picture lies a critical contradiction to all the testimony up until now. A contradiction? So, you think you've spotted a problem with this picture? Then earn your keep. Why don't you point out exactly what is so strange in this picture for the court? The problem is here. As we may recall from the previous session of the trial, there's supposed to be a bullet hole in this sleeve. And there's clearly no hole in this sleeve. Please direct your attention here. To the sleeve? But, but there isn't anything odd about it. And that is exactly what is so odd. Something that should be there is suddenly missing. Should be there? Ah! There was a bullet hole in the sleeve of the defendant's costume. If that's the case, then it should be in this picture as well. Ms. Von Karma, you... You intended to hide this valuable piece of evidence? You will most certainly be assigned a penalty for this. Alright, this should do some major damage to our argument. Don't celebrate yet. You like to bring down the mood, don't you? Take a look at Ms. Von Karma's face. Ugh, she's got that condescending grin plastered all over her face again. <laughs> Jumping the gun again, I see. Your Honor. I would like to extend an apology on behalf of those incompetent fools. What do you mean? And what incompetent fools? If those fools down at the precinct hadn't missed the bullet hole, I would have gotten a report about it. As I didn't, I could not have known this picture was of any value to this case. Hmm, I see. She's lying through her teeth, I know it. That woman knew about everything, the bullet hole, the picture, everything. You can't prove that. Francisca von Kahn's idea of a perfect case is quite fascinating, don't you think? Your Honor, you need not worry. If you must assign a penalty, I'll personally make sure that detective gets what's coming. I'm sure there will be a great gnashing of teeth at his next salary discussion. Poor Gumshoe. In any case, this is a very big problem. When the defendant was taken into custody, her costume had a bullet hole in its sleeve. However, from this photo, it would appear that right after the shooting, there was none. The judge is confused by the strange twist of events. This is your chance, Phoenix. Load all you've got into this one shot, alright? Got it. Watch this, Maya. Your Honor. There is only one logical explanation for the contradiction. The defendant's sleeve had a bullet hole in it. However, this person's clearly does not. There can be only one explanation. The person who shot Dr. Gray was not the defendant, but a different person altogether. What? What? <laughs> order, order, order. If order is not restored, I will suspend this trial. Ow, ah! Why me? Why me? <laughs> The defense's, the defense's argument is a complete mess. A complete mess? I failed to see how. Please, enlighten us. Hey, witness. Ah! What the heck? Is that any way to ask Gal a favor? Be quiet, you. You were the one who said it was only the two of them when you entered the room. Well, you know. If you were lying, I swear that my rip will be the last thing you see. Oh, look, sis, you're looking mighty scary, so why don't we say you... Ah, I swear, I wasn't lying or nothing. There wasn't anyone else in there, honest. You see, now riddle me this, Mr. Phoenix, right? Where did the defendant vanish to? And where did this other woman, this other woman, appear from? Um, why is it lately all I want to do is cry? Well, if the person in this picture is not the defendant... Then this poses two very big questions. First, where did the defendant vanish to? And second, where did this person come from? That's right. Now hurry up and answer, Mr. Phoenix, right? Come on, you can't fall apart here, Phoenix, right? 
can't believe that even me is calling you my full name. But, I mean, how am I supposed to prove something like this? Had enough yet, Mr. Phoenix Fright? Or do you think you have enough in you to turn things around even now? To turn things around? That's right, Mia would always turn things around and change her perspective. Phoenix? So, where did this intruder appear from, and where did Maya disappear to? I need to look at this situation from a different angle. Let's see. What if before we broke in, the third person was already in the room? And what if Maya had left that room somehow? If I could prove that either one of those contradiction conditions were true... Mr. Wright, let's hear what you've come up with. I think what happened before we forced our way into the channeling chamber is... Maya had left the channeling chamber at some point, and the defense can prove this. Oh, how a foolish fool makes a foolish face while dreaming foolishly foolish dreams. Maya Faye was being looked after by her aunt, Morgan Faye. The chances of her leaving the crime scene is lower than that detective's salary. Anyway, let's take some evidence. Proves from the murder until the time of arrest the defendant had left the room. Well, this key is some the defendant had this key, and we found it somewhere else, so she must have left the room for us to be able to get it. Miss Hart, do you remember this key? Um, well, I've seen it. Hey, that's the Chandlin Chamber key, right? Before the Chandlin started, Maya locked the door from the inside with that. The defendant herself locked the door? Yeah, that's why we all couldn't get the door open. That key's the only one of its kind, after all. Oh, one of a kind, you say? Wait, Mr. Phoenix Wright. Yes? Looks like she's catching on. I'm afraid to ask, but... Why is that key currently in your possession? Huh? What do you mean? If Maya Fay locked herself in, then the key should have been with her. Yes, agreed. However, she did not have that key at the time of her arrest. Ah! Well, ain't that a kick. So how come you're holding it? I got this as a present from a certain little girl. And that little girl was nowhere near the crime scene at the time. That's preposterous! Oops, wrong voice. That's preposterous! <laughs> I can't use my water accent. This means that Maya Fay must have left the room. If she had not, then I would not be holding this key you see before you. N no! No! I don't know what voice I'm doing. <laughs> it seems we have come to an impasse. This picture has clearly captured the face of the murderer. However, is this person the defendant or not? The defense is arguing that this person is not the defendant. Furthermore, as proof, this key has been submitted as evidence. Ms. Von Karma. How can this be? At this point in time, a verdict on the defendant's guilt is not possible. My perfect case. How is there a flaw in my perfect case? Don't think you've won yet, Mr. Phoenix Wright. I am a prodigy. I have never lost a case. And I don't intend to lose here in this courtroom to a fool like you. I don't care what I have to do. I will get my guilty verdict. That's enough. If you would like to continue, do so in the lobby. Court will reconvene tomorrow at 10am. That is all. Court is adjourned. June 21st, 1.32pm. District Court, Defendant Lobby Number 3. Wow! That was you, Polly? You summoned my sis? Yes, I felt I had no choice. Great going, Polly. I knew you were special. Hey, Nick, did you know? Um, yeah, it's not like anyone else in there could have done that. Hmm, Nick. I know you're trying really hard and all, but I really don't remember ever leaving that room. And I don't think a third person could have gone into that room. Yeah. Well, at least we have until tomorrow to figure things out. Like, what happened in that room, for instance? Yeah, I'm counting on you. Uh, I envy the two of you. Oh, by the way, Nick. 
Do you think you could take Pearly back home for me? Sure. Alright, Pearls, you ready to go buy some tickets? Huh? A ticket? Poor thing. So sheltered. I love Pearl so much. Precious baby. To be continued. Uh, that's it for this video. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Uh, next time we will be continuing with the investigation. Heck yeah. Uh, we'll be discovering more about this trial and what the heck is going on here. <laughs> Bye.